y'all welcome back to another wonderful episode we have here whether you're watching this on ig facebook youtube my podcast so grateful to be back here and today i am diving into the very good stuff so remember i've already talked about obviously the grammar elementary course it being basically an a2 slash b1 level course depending on where you are with your english language you're going to be able to make a decision and say, okay, I'm going to go along with this specific one right here. However, for those of my TOEFL students, this one is the best one. This is the intermediate course. Course Now, I'm scooting ahead a little bit. Normally, I would do the B1+, plus, which is the pre-intermediate, but I'm going straight into B2. I want to do B2 immediately because I know a lot of you out there who are struggling with your TOEFL writing, this is the course that's going to uplift you in more ways than one. See, I've been doing a lot of coaching over the years. And to be honest with you, it was always very difficult to teach the independent essay because there are so many different formats out there. You have the TST prep, the TOEFL resources, and it's always the, you know, some people believe this, other people believe this. I firmly believe this. But there's a better, more systematic and fantastic way to approach doing, obviously, the introductions, the body paragraphs, and the conclusions. As a matter of fact, I just sent an essay to a lot of my current students and said, this is the one that Soleil wrote. She had no grammatical errors, meaning she's not going to get an 18, 19, 21, or 22. She's going to get a much higher score because she limited the amount of grammatical errors she made. And so we're going to be, and I'm going to be posting more videos and stuff like that, and maybe uh, podcasts in terms of my coaching sessions with her and stuff, because I think a lot of people are going to learn a lot from her. She's going to be taking the test. Um, if you're watching this on IG and YouTube, she's going to be taking this next week. If you're listening to this on the podcast, she may have already taken it, or she's going in to take it right now. All right. And so nonetheless, people, let's get into how this course can absolutely help you. Now, remember, there's a combination between grammar and the writing skill course. The grammar course is $50. You can get the upsell with 20% off, meaning the writing course will be just $40. Vice versa, if you buy the writing skills course, and then you go over to the grammar course, it's always going to be the 100%, 80%, no matter what. All right? So with that being said, people, this is going to be a fantastic segment. Because I'm going to break everything down and then I'm going to show you exactly what you're going to be getting in the fire coming up in the writing skill. So grammar, this is important. And remember, these are conjoined. You're going to see that coming up right now. With the grammar, unit one, it's all about discourse markers of contrast and comparison or comparison and contrast. Okay. The second unit, it's about relative clauses. The who, the that, the which the where, how to put that in your writing. Very important if you're trying to get upper echelon and adjective clauses implemented into your writing so that you could get a very high score in your TOEFL writing and writing in general. Now, the third lesson is gonna be joined with something very important that I'm gonna show you on the writing skill, okay? This is about the modal verbs of obligation and necessity. Okay, obviously the may, you know, the would, uh, the, the could, the different types of modal verbs that we use, must, have not, haven't, needn't, stuff like that, and how that's going to be very important in your introduction. I'll leave that there for now. Grammar, irregular verbs in the past simple, no problem. Gra uh, the next one, obviously, it's about the determiners of quantity. All right, and there are theme bases that go along with this too. So going back to the very beginning, you know, the relative clauses is a food thing. For the TOEFL IBT, there are different questions about food. All right, the modal verbs or the modals of obligation, that's more about business. The irregular verbs in the past simple, it's about trends. Determiners of quantity, that's success. Present conditionals, that's all about the pressure. You're gonna be learning about the conditionals one and two. Also very, very important when it comes to your writing, especially in the TOEFL IBT when you're given unreal conditionals. If I hadn't had this, this would have been like this. You see what I mean? That's going to be very important too. Present perfect, that's about fear. Past perfect and past simple, stories. Okay, sometimes you have to explain yourself in different types of segments on the TOEFL IBT. And then obviously, 
the present and past perfect passives. Okay, this is going to be extraordinary. I'm so happy about that one because this one is going to take your writing just from active voice to passive voice. And if you can jump between the two, your score is going to get bumped up. The biggest goal, to be honest with you, is limiting the amount of grammatical error. So if you're writing and you, you have difficulty in your writing in terms of, oh, you know, I'm not exactly sure what to write. Uh, what about this? What about that? This is what's going to help you. And of course, when it comes to obviously the integrated essay, reported speech. Now, why is the writing course so beneficial in terms of this? Well, you're going to get two lessons now per unit. And so in the unit one, you're going to be doing you're going to learn in the writing skill how to write a balanced opinion. And then you're going to use those discourse markers. Remember I told you the comparison and contrast, how to write a balanced opinion, okay? So again, you have a plan. You're going to be doing different paragraphs. And guess what? You are going to be writing paragraphs that are probably about 100 words long now. If you go back to the elementary course, the majority of the task and the skills require you to only write 40 to 50 words. Well, the higher we go, the more we have to write. Now, again, if you're having difficulty in hitting and achieving that word count in your TOEFL IBT, this is it right here because, well, guess what? If you write a 100 word paragraph, what's gonna end up happening is what? You get Two other, well, again, body paragraph number one, body paragraph number two, 100 words, 100 words, 75 intro, 75 conclusion. You're good to go. You got your 350 desired words. You know what I mean? So going into unit number two, writing skill, compound sentences. And then you're going to use the relative clauses, obviously, from the grammar course on how to write different types of, uh, what is it, compound and complex sentences about food production. Again, this is very, very good for those of you who are, um, what is it? Uh, who are learning TOEFL IBT because obviously you get food types of questions, right? So unit three is the big one. This is the big, big one. This is the one where I've been literally telling a lot of my students to go to first and then to come back to the beginning. You're going to learn how to write an introductory paragraph. Not only that, but in the task, you're going to use modal verbs of obligation and how to write a beginning or an introduction. This one is by far the sexiest, the best. And this one right here teaches you exactly how to do the TOEFL IBT introductory paragraph. Not only that, but you're going to submit tasks to me and then right after that, I'm going to say, okay, are you learning TOEFL? Yes, I'm learning TOEFL. Okay, here we go. Here are three different types of essays. Use the same things you learned from the modal verb section in the grammar course with the writing skill in conjunction with the task, that in the plan, and you're going to start building up your introductory so you can be very quick at the very end in terms of writing them down for your test. All right, unit four, writing about cause and effect. And then you're going to go to that grammar course. It says in the writing task, using present conditionals to write about cause and effect. Obviously, there's a different thing behind it. Now, unit five. This is a very big one for those of you who are disorganized with your essays, the writing skills, the essay structure, organizing your notes. Not only that, but you're going to end up organizing your notes into paragraphs. If it's very difficult for you to write about specific topics, this one right here, taking down notes, planning it, brainstorming, this is going to build you up. This is what a general English course is, you know, but it does have total context behind it. So when we start building that up, it makes it so much easier, right? This is us building that foundation. So unit six, all the linking of the paragraphs. You're going to love this and write in an essay. Okay, I'm going to hurry up and give you a nice little speak, uh, preview. Write essay of important invention or discovery over the last 100 years. Obviously, that's a TOEFL IBT question. And the Lincoln paragraph segment is all about the topic sentences, the bridge sentences, and the conclusions. This is how we do the body paragraphs in terms of the TOEFL body paragraph essays, baby. See, this is how I do these courses. Unit number seven, summarize an argument. 
This is very good for the integrated task, okay? Oh, and guess what? You're going to learn how to write a concluding essay. Just, I thought I had already saved that. That's pretty weird. I don't know what's going on. But anyways, okay, with that being said, and then going into that last one, the unit eight, proofreading and editing, and you're going to write an opinion essay. The reason why I'm doing this right here is because I know this is going to be of the utmost importance to so many of you out there right now because you have difficulties with your TOEFL, right? If you don't have a foundation, this is it right here. I've preached it on so many different occasions. Again, if you're one of my TOEFL students right now, you get this, both courses, for $25 each, okay? Now, for those of you who are obviously listening to me on podcasts, watching me on YouTube, on Facebook page, and you're learning this outside of TOEFL and just for general English, remember, the 50-40. <laughs> I'm going to call it the 50-40 rule. That means $50 here, $40 here, 100%, 80%. All right. And with that being said, you got a lot of assignments to submit me, a lot of great stuff. And again, this is more the TOEFL base. This is a B2. Obviously, I got the upper intermediate and advanced coming right after. But then I got to hurry up and finish the, the pre-intermediate segment. I just wanted to hurry up and jump over to intermediate to help a lot of my current students right now who are at that level. The pre-intermediate are going to be more for my general English students and stuff like that. So nonetheless, people, you have the ability Follow me on IG, ask me questions, let me know. Links down below, and I'll be seeing you real soon. I'm your host, as always, over and out.